In this lecture, we're going to be looking at the testing and optimization of targets and stops and the following stops. We left off in the previous lecture where after optimizing the moving average period and moving average offset, there was one positive trade of $33. That setting was transferred to our input section by clicking on set input parameters. And to double check that, what I'm going to do is run a test. Now, how a test works is that instead of using these optimization settings here called start, step, and stop, it uses the values that are input in the EA and so currently the values input are the ones that were optimized so all I have to do is click on OK and hit and click on start it will then run those values and as you can see it goes extremely quickly I can then look at the report and there's our $33 positive the only problem is that because we're using opening prices it doesn't like the quality of the data that I've used uh, and gives a red warning so I'm going to actually change that and go back to settings and use every tick data now that will immensely increase the precision which is used when checking and you'll also notice that the time taken to do the test will be slightly longer so I'm going to hit start again and there's the test taking a little bit longer while the test is running you can always monitor it on a graph function that is in the um, test facility you can actually see the graph uh, playing out as the profits are made and the and the uh, drawdown periods are incurred also while the test is running you can also view you, the account so as the as the transactions happen the account is updated and you can view what is happening on the, the account so those are fantastic facilities to have when the test is running now it's almost finished so let's have a look so you can see that 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 took considerably longer than the previous test because we're using the high precision method now let's have a look at our report our report still says $33 positive which means that the open price method is equal to the tick data method and therefore it proves that the open price method is sound also now we have a green line saying that our data is as 90% quality which is a very high percentage anything over 80 is acceptable okay so let's move on to the optimization and, and testing of the targets stops and following stops so in order to do that I need to go into the expert properties and then look at the target the stop and the trailing stop and what I think we'll do is we'll actually optimize those three at the same time so I'm going to click the take profit that's what we're going to optimize click on the on the stop and click on the trailing stop now let's have a look what kind of jumps are we going to have so it's at the moment I've got a hundred with jumps or the steps of 50 and going to 400 what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make it a little bit more accurate and put in a 50 in there the stop loss I'm going to do the same for so we covering a very wide range of settings from 50 to 250 from 50 to 400 for the trailing stop we'll start at 50 with steps of 30 and we'll go to 240 I think what well, is it divisible okay so let's optimize that so we say okay we change the every tick back to the open price we've proved that that it is a sound method and we click on optimization and we click on start and off it will go 
there are 280 versions that will be tested you can see it's testing quite fast and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video until the testing has been completed okay the test has been completed and the 280 versions of the settings relating to target stops and following stops have been completed so let's have a look at the results and oh they are a lot more encouraging as you can see we've got a whole list of positive transactions and if we go down the list they are all mainly positive so it shows that the addition of stops and targets have definitely turned this system around and it is only right at the end that the negative uh, sections start coming in so a lot more positive by the introduction of this the targets the top outcome is saying that we should have a, a take profit of 200 a stop loss of 150 and then a trailing stop of 170 so I'm going to do the same thing as we did before we right click set the input parameters and now this is the most up-to-date and highest optimization that we can do on the system so far so that has been now been entered into the expert advisor and as you can see the new settings of 200 150 and 170 are now in the expert advisor we now merely need to move on to the next refinements will which will be the time of day and the day of the week refinements but this has really made a major change to the results that we've had so far to again prove the system i'm going to just run the test without optimization and let's have a look at the report yes a 640 is the return and then when I do the same test on the every tick basis let's have a look at that and again remember it's going to take a little bit longer but it will hopefully come up with the same result again you can follow the results on the graph or you can follow the results on the actual trading account and uh, what we'll do is we'll wait for the report to come out so you can see this lot big gains and then big drawdowns big gains big drawdowns uh, but luckily in this case the gains outweigh the drawdowns and the overall result is nicely positive so let's see how much further this is, is almost finished and there we go so we look at the report and oh, it's made a two dollar difference by changing from the open price system to the tick system so overall the open price system is still robust we don't need to worry about it and the modeling quality is nice and high so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be moving on to the next lecture where we will further refine the results by testing for the time of day and the day of the week.